What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Bonnie and this is my channel where I talk about all things lifestyle and DIY. So if you're interested in either of those, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on those notifications. So today I'm gonna to share with you guys a super easy and quick tutorial on how you can make this really cute garland out of pom-poms. So you can use this for what I did for Valentine's Day or you can use it for decorations in general or even birthday decor. So if you guys wanna find out how you can make it, just keep watching. So here are the supplies that I started off with in order to make this DIY pom-pom garland. I purchased this knitting set from Amazon. It came in a pack of four with four different sizes, so I thought it would be really great to have this uh, just for DIY projects in the future as well. You're also going to need a pair of scissors. I got these also from Amazon, so anything that I was able to get from Amazon, I'll make sure to link for you guys down below. And then um, these are just a couple of the pom-poms that I tested out. They are super cute and I love the neutral colors. So these ones were made with the yellow size. So I think that these are gonna be really cute. And then they also have uh, the four other sizes or three other sizes that you can utilize as well. So I also purchased twine again from Amazon. You can get this from the Dollar Tree. However, I think that this is just gonna be better quality because the one from the Dollar Tree kind of sheds a lot. So I just purchased this one off of Amazon. And then I also got all of the yarn from Amazon as well. I wanted to go with Valentine's Day themed colors as well as some very neutrals as well. So we have the red, the pink, the white, green, and brown. So I'm going to start off by using this yellow pom-pom maker. So this is the second to smallest size that came in the package and it's super easy to operate. So two pieces from the top or bottom come off and then the other two pieces on the opposite side come off as well. And then in order to get the string off, you're going to twist it and then it's gonna unlatch. It's a lot easier than it looks, I promise. And then to put it back on, you're just gonna put it back on and twist it into place and then you have your pom-pom maker again. So you can see if I'm pulling it straight, it won't unlock or it won't come apart. You have to actually twist it in order for it to come apart. So now to start making the little pom-poms. I'm starting off with a white color or a cream color and all you do is just wrap it around one half of the pom-pom maker and just continue doing that until you feel like you have enough string on it. So what I did was in the center where it kind of curves, I made sure that the string was almost straight across. So it made like half a circle, if that makes any sense. But you can kind of tell when like enough is enough or if it's not enough uh, because it's going to be see-through and then your pom-pom is also going to be very thin and not like a full pom-pom you can kind of see like the ones that i tested out they're not as full as they could be so you can always add more yarn to your actual pom-pom so you can see right here that it's almost like a half of a circle that dip in the middle is full of yarn And then I'm going to repeat this process on the opposite side of the pom-pom maker. And again, just continue to wrap the yarn around it until there's enough yarn to make a full pom-pom. And so there's some little hooks on the side of the pom-pom maker and then I just hook the string around that and cut off the excess. So this is what it looks like when you're all finished. And then you're gonna take your scissors. Mine were kind of big, so if you have anything smaller, you're more than welcome to use that. But you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna run it through the center of this garland or this pom-pom maker and you're gonna see that the string just comes apart. Do not open it because that's the only thing that's holding it together as of right now. And then you're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side to cut the string in the center of the pom-pom maker. So 
So once you have that completed and you have cut both sides of the pom-pom maker, you're going to cut a piece of string long enough to go around the entire pom-pom maker. So between where you cut in the center, you're going to be able to wrap that string around the middle of the pom-pom maker. And then you're going to want to pull it tight to make sure that you are all the way to the center of the pom-pom maker. And then you're gonna to wanna to double knot it. This is what's going to be holding all of the string together in the center of your pom-pom. After you're done double knotting it, you can start removing the pom-pom maker by pulling up the yellow tabs on either side or on both sides. And I found it easier if you did one tab at a time. And then you're going to twist it to unlock it and then pull it apart. And then what I did was I held the two strings that I tied a double knot to in order to hold it and then used my scissors to trim the longer pieces and make it as round as I could. And that's all there really is to it, guys. You can use different colored string, different size makers. I am going to be using the medium sized pink one in a little bit here in this video, but you can do whatever you guys want with these pom pom makers as far as colors and sizes. So I think it's really great to have these on hand. Now I'm taking the twine and I kind of just wrapped it around my chair in order to give me a nice garland length. And then I'm going to take each of the pom-poms and tie them onto this twine. In order to properly space them out, I did only tie one knot so that I could move them around. And once they were spaced out how I wanted them to, I tied a second knot and then trimmed off the excess on the strings. Now I'm just repeating the same process, but with the larger pom-pom maker.
Again, repeating the same process with the garland, but this time I'm doing a Valentine's Day theme with the rose blush pink and the white, and I think it's a super cute combination. This is what they look like when they're hanging up. I think that they turned out so cute. I love this neutral one because you can keep this up all year long. And like I said, you can change these colors to whatever color scheme that you want, whether it be regular everyday decor, Valentine's Day, Christmas, Easter, spring, whatever you choose. Again, you can do whatever you want with these. This one is the Valentine's Day theme one that I selected. I love the pink blush color with the white and I love the two different sizes. It just kind of gives it that uh, variation or that depth that you kind of need for garlands. It kind of just gives it that depth that you need for garland. So if you guys like this tutorial, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time.